people of interest is totally supported by our bro Skeeter, who totally gave us the rest of Fritos when it was crucial to get our munch on. Plus, he's got the connect for the real good shit. Am I right? In the past year, the fight for marriage equality has been seen outstanding progress with several states <laughs> now legally recognizing same-sex marriages. While there have been arguments that same-sex marriage would open the door for a variety of other non-traditional marriage arrangements, there is one new emerging trend that no one was expecting, bro marriage. Bro marriage is a same-sex marriage between two heterosexual friends who get married to show the world how solid their friendship is. My next guests, Marcus Shale and Dave Shackelford, are two of the most prominent advocates for bro marriage and are also brosmans, which is what bro married spouses call each other. They are currently turning the country to drum up support to defeat anti-same-sex marriage bills. Marcus Shale and Dave Shackelford, welcome. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations. Yeah. Oh, you know, my buddy Dave uh, and I just kind of felt right. You know, it's uh, we're not like we're not gay or nothing. Right. But um, not anything wrong. No. It's fine. Yeah. I got an uncle. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it just always kind of felt right. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And I need I need to help insurance. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like, like it's like the movie. You know, I, I believe you're referring to uh, now pronouncing Chuck Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were pretending to be gay, where you're not. No, uh, he's total Chuck, by the way. Yeah, Chuck, Chuck. Total Chuck. <laughs> so Chuck. Okay. Uh, well, so um, obviously, you know, you're, you've been on this, uh, you've been on uh, this campaigns to work to uh, to drum up support. Bro. Um, what do you say to some of the benefits of pro marriage? Uh, right off the top of the bat, uh, fucking wicked, wicked parties. Oh, oh yeah. Like all the time. <laughs> like that you host together. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's like we can have housewarmings. We threw ourselves a shower. We got bro Mary. Um, <laughs> bro showers. Yeah, bro showers are the best. Some of the things that you know happen at a bro shower. It's like. You go to before, you gotta go to like Bed Bath Beyond and they give you this like gun. Yeah. And you just go around, you're like, I want that, I want that, I want that. Killer sheet Killer sheet sets. Killer sheet sets. At least 400 <laughs> right now. At oh, least four. Good days. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the and then at the, at the actual shower. shower. At the bro shower. Yeah, yeah. bro shower. Uh, you're, you're both at the bro shower. Yeah, we're, we're both in the bro shower. Oh, definitely. We're both there. Um, <laughs> Like wet t-shirt contest, poker nights, um, true. Those two heavy metal strippers. Oh man, they're wicked. Oh man. They did this thing. They called it um they called it the stereo they called it the stereo treatment. Right? And uh, they took both of us and we held hands. Of course. They asked us to. And uh, just like rub their boobs in our face. And we were like, this is what marriage is about. Well, I was wondering if we could if we Talk about your ceremony because it was, yeah. it was uh, oh, it's actually quite traditional. Yeah. Uh, which obviously yeah. We like to keep it classic. Yeah. Would you keep it classic? We're both Catholic. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to. Uh, we wanted to, you know, make sure that our faith yeah. was yeah. respected. We want our family to enjoy their time. Sure. You know, the actual ceremony is not just for us. It's for them. It's for them. Yeah. It's for them. Yeah. How, how are your families uh, feeling about this? I mean, obviously you come from a traditional background. Sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Working class, blue collar. Um, at first my dad was like, wait a minute. <laughs> so you're not gay? That's the first question we get in this campaign. Every time. Every, Every time. time. And we're like, no, not that there's anything wrong with that. But just, we, it's just about like feeling right with another guy that yeah. you want to spend the rest of your life with. <laughs> So my dad, when he got past that, he was pretty cool because he saw we like the same music, yeah. and we finished each other's sentences, and uh, you know, he was a pretty big bigot. Yeah. Like at first, mostly about other stuff, but like so, like this is kind of the low end of his bigotry zone. Well, so a lot, uh, a lot of 
people, you know, sort of the uh, were furthering the cause of marriage equality. Some some of them have argued that uh, pro marriage has been a detriment to their uh, to their cause. How do you how do you respond to your critics? I want to know what their names are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know specifically who's talking yeah, about shit. Is this like a so blog or something? Because you can write whatever you want of those. Uh, I, 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 there are some blogs that some people Look, there's anti-pro-marriage blogs. Look, all I'm saying is, we live in a post-9-11 world. We live in the <laughs> and like, I'm not going into your house, knocking on your door, and being like, hey, stop having consensual sex with each other. Yes. I would never do that. <laughs> not, that we do, not that we do that. We don't. No, we don't do that. Why does everyone keep asking that? It's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, some people who are, are uh, against marriage equality are pointing to this, you know, yeah. saying, saying, look, you know, these people are, you know, uh, they're bromophobic. <laughs> bromophobic. Have you experienced uh, any, you know, particular harsh attacks? Uh, in your, yeah, in your, there was that one. Yeah. It's all right. I, 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 I'm, he I, unfortunately felt the brunt of this. Um, so we were at, we were at Eulogy in Old City. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> We were getting it in. Huh? Alright? So we're sitting together at the bar just checking all the people out. <laughs> and um, I had to go pitch one off in the bathroom. So while I'm in there, these two fucking muscle head dudes just come start coming fucking wailing on the cute, cute, like pull cues. And I leave. They just beat the shit out of me. Yeah. And, uh, there's no warning. There's no warning at all. So come to find out, they're super, they don't like gay guys. And we keep being like, it's not us. We live together in a consensual, mutually beneficial relationship where we pay each other's bills and stuff. <laughs> share, and a share a room, share a room, share a room and a bed. We do share, yeah. But like, it's Unless a, it's cold, you know, you yeah. sheet and comforter. Yeah, sheet and comforter, head to toe, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it is expensive, my dude. It is. He was a motherfucker. My bro, he's a more teddy bear, you know? I really eat. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, obviously you're, you're making it work, and uh, yep. you're, you're really, you know, showing an example for other people. Uh, have, have you had any success, you know, I guess, you're spreading the word, you know, have you? See, we try to we try to start something online. Yeah. For it. A web ring. And uh really <laughs> many of the bros out there, it's just got confusing. Yeah, we're like we, we try to Google like, hey, bros who live together. A lot of weird stuff. <laughs> and then we Google Bronies. Bronies. That was <laughs> you know there's some freaks out there that love my little pony that are so gold nails? Yeah. <laughs> but you I want to rail against something, yeah. rail against that. The women are called Pegasus. Yeah. It's even weirder. Yeah. They're like juggalos. If juggalos lost that last little bit of self respect. <laughs> <laughs> This is a double standard. Right. <laughs> the women have been living together for a long time. And they not always, they always call when a bunch of women live together, they always they always call it a hostel. Yeah. yeah. Everyone calls it that. And not a hostel. What's it called? <laughs> Prostitutes live together. Brothel. Brothel. <laughs> that's if they that's if they have sex for money. But when? in most situations that might not be the case. But there's no social stigma against two women being like, it's mutually beneficial for us to live together. We can get on each other's insurance plan. We can go shopping on the weekends together. We can pick out Christmas trees. Um, yeah. We picked out fucking awesome Christmas trees. Just now realizing. 
I'm pretty sure that you are actually gay. <laughs> no, bro. Bump me right now. <laughs> There's obviously some kinks. Sometimes feelings get, um, sometimes you catch feelings in a bro marriage that aren't <laughs> what I expected or discussed <laughs> previously. Uh, well, uh, just try it. Just try it. <laughs> what are you doing this here? <laughs> I would have liked to know first. <laughs> Interest is brought to you by Philly Improv Theater, Philly's home for comedy. In addition to shows every week of the year, FIT offers classes in improv, sketch, and stand-up. For more information, visit phillyimprovtheater.com.